You know, this is a really interesting video topic to go out there and explore, because it's one that we haven't really ever talked about. Do I ever want to say that this has been a thing? No, I don't know if I can confidently say that, because when it comes to this player, Montreal Canadiens third overall pick in the 2018 NHL entry draft, Jesperi Kotkaniemi, I don't know if we've ever made any actual videos talking about how quote-unquote good he is. Now, I get it, we've made videos talking about when he was drafted and what he should be and what his potential is and all this and that, but like, it's never really been like this in this video here today. Because yesterday, playing for the Carolina Hurricanes against the Tampa Bay Lightning, you had yourselves a 6 to nothing Carolina win. And within these goals, you had yourselves Jesperi Kotkaniemi, yeah, that's right, KK, getting himself a goal and four assists. Jesperi Kotkaniemi, ladies and gentlemen, had himself a five-point game. And that's one of the things that when you look at it on the box score, you see your articles coming out there being written about KK and his five-point game. The first thing that kind of comes to mind is, okay, well, what the hell do Habs fans think of that? Because I, for one, came out here seeing the highlights, watching the tape, and just saying, all right, let's see what Kotkaniemi's all about. Let's see how he's getting these assists and what happened for him to get a goal and four assists, five total points on the night. And it's all power play production, pretty much. You had yourselves Kotkaniemi being the guy to seamlessly thread the needle cross crease you had kk being the guy at the start of three man cycle plays where he quickly plays it out to the outside before the puck is sent back to the point and there's a shot and that's a goal you had kotkaniemi feeding the point before there's a shot and a rebound it plays out to the side and teravainen gets it and then you had kk being the man in front tipping pucks in as it's heading towards the net this is a pretty intriguing sort of tape for kk because Dare I say, we've never really seen him play this good before. Take a look at his overall game log, and you'll see that Kotkaniemi has 30 points in 61 games played this season, on pace for a total of about 40 points over the calendar year. And while that's not amazing, you know, half a point a game, whatever, whatever, you still gotta remember where everything is and put the perspective into place because Kotkaniemi is 22 years old, he's signed till the end of 2030, making $4.8 million a year, and if I were a betting man, I think it would be a pretty good bet to make to say that a guy who is 22 and who's been playing in the NHL since he was 18 is probably going to get better in some respect as his career goes on. Knock on wood. Now, the thing is, KK, in his past few games, if you go back to February 1st, he actually is a point-per-game player flat. Two-point game against Buffalo, one point against the Rangers, pointless against Capitals, and then you have yourselves points against Montreal, two-point game against the Capitals again, one point against Anaheim, and then the five-point game against Tampa Bay. You add everything together, that is, what is that, 3, 4, 6, 7, and then 12. 12 total points in the span of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games. And it gets even better when you go back to January 31st, because he had a point there too. So, Kotkaniemi has been a point-per-game player the past month, and of course, the five-point game ends up helping, but it is intriguing to me to see that there is somewhat of a revival of sorts coming out of this, and he's doing all of it with about 15 minutes of time on ice per game this past little while. Now, with KK, obviously a lot of Canadians fans would say that the big part about his game was consistency, oh, he would score a lot of goals in the playoffs, or not even a lot of goals, but just important goals in the playoffs, and he'd really put himself on the map that way, but when you talked about what he would do in the regular season and how he would perform for 82 games, it wouldn't really be the most redeeming to go out there and give him a good contract because of it, and then there was the offer sheet, and things kind of went crazy in the offseason of 20, when was that, 2021? And so, things were so wild with Kotkaniemi the past few years, and then there was so much redemption that a lot of Canadians fans felt when they saw Kotkaniemi put up only 29 points in 66 games played with the Hurricanes last year. Oh, this guy's a bum. 
$4.8 million till the end of 2030? Yeah, okay. Like, go out there, Carolina, pay the guy his money, but you're not getting a guy who's going to fill that role. But now it's like, all right, well, it's been a month, and he's a point per game now, so is that really good enough? I mean, 22 years old, he's got room to grow. I mean... Look, if he's able to expand on that offensive side of his game and just move the puck as confidently as he had been in that last game against Tampa Bay, then the sky really is the limit here. Now, playing with Taravine and the Natchez and Svechnikov and all these guys, it helps. It really does. He had a hat trick from Taravine the other night, and all these goals were set up by Esperi Kotkaniemi. But at the end of the day, it kind of takes a little bit of pizzazz to be able to play with those guys in the first place so having the hurricanes have that system in place it's interesting because montreal would not have been able to provide kotkaniemi with that sort of an opportunity you had suzuki playing with caulfield the entire time kotkaniemi would be playing with i don't know druan but now with the canes he's back on that second line and it's been very well reported amongst hurricanes fans that since that point of the season kotkaniemi's playmaking has taken a huge step up and when you remember what Kotkaniemi was supposed to be back when he was drafted in 2018, there was that two-way center sort of mold with good playmaking and good vision that was sort of what was expected out of this guy. And then he made the NHL at 18. You gotta remember, Kotkaniemi was the first person born in the year 2000 and beyond to make any of the top four leagues. NHL, NBA, MLB, and NFL. There was nobody born in the 2000s to play before Kotkaniemi did. So he was kind of a landmark player just in regards to the turn of the millennium, pretty much, and that was four years ago at 22 years old, so there's a bunch of time for this guy to really expand on that playmaking and hopefully just kind of work at things to improve. So do yourself a favor and watch the highlights of Carolina Tampa Bay from last night and see what Kotkaniemi was going out there and doing when it came to setting up plays and making everything work out for the team and allowing them to convert in their chances. Talk to the council your thoughts about Kotkaniemi and his playmaking, what you're seeing out of these clips, and if you're a Canadians fan, what does this whole situation look like to you? Is it good? Do you prefer this to be happening? I know a lot of Canadians fans are sort of salty that he signed the offer sheet in the first place, and others are saying, okay, well, good for you. You're happy and healthy. I'm Okay, I'm not going to do that. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Jesperi Kotkaniemi, the five-point game, his point-per-game production ever since the end of January, start of February, how his playmaking has taken a considerable step up, and whether or not you think that huge extension he was given as revenge for Sebastian Ajo, pretty much, could actually be worth it someday. Is he on pace to being able to do that? Or do you think this is just going to be a laughing stock for the next eight years? Talk to the console your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Trolls 99. And bye.